guys and a very happy 2019 to everyone thanks to all the guys everyone all the new subscribers and everyone who supported me these uh, last few years and made the channel grow hope it continues to do so anyway uh, this is a, a sort of a quick guided tour more for the benefit of people who are kind of new to the channel um, people who sort of like just want to sort of know what's going on the ins and outs of this uh, my Advantage 03 monophonic analog synthesizer prototype. Now this is the front panel here. So everything you see here on the front panel has sort of pretty much been done in prototype circuitry on the breadboards, which I will show you inside here, as we can see. And there is the power supply, which I showed you on another video. This is the sort of a trimmable um, plus minus sort of 18, what's about 18 to well to about minus five plus and minus voltage and here each you can see that basically what happened what we've got here is 14 individual breadboards all pretty much made up and joined together through various sort of uh, interconnections so what we have here is the VCO boards and we have VCO1, VCO2 we have an exponential converter there this is all the wave shaping and mixing side and we go into a mixer which goes onto the next board which has the VCF1, the Steiner Parker uh, clone filter. Over here we have the SEM, Oberheim SEM clone filter. If we move over here we've got two identical ADSRs. One is the main modulation which is ADSR1, main modulating envelope generator. And then we've got ADSR2 which deals with the uh, VCA amplifier. And if we go over here... We have the wave folder, which is a post VCA wave folder. We can blend it between wet and dry, between the, um, yeah. So we can have a wave folded signal or just a dry signal. And over here we have the two controls for the um, VCFs. So we can go, the both of them are multi-mode. So we can have them at sort of any combination of modes. We also have a couple of switches, which are here. And there's one over behind there, which is to switch it into both uh, filters into their separate notch modes. Uh, we also have, if we look down here, I've just done a few sort of modifications on the exponential converters. This is VCF3's exponential converter here. I'm using these little bad boys here, which are uh, monolithic NPN match transistor pairs known as LS318s, which you can get from Linear. I think they're Linear Systems, white cross components if you're in the UK. They're about sort of just over five pounds. They come in two different forms. One, they come in this kind of, I think this is a T081 and you can get a smaller can one as well. I can't remember the exact um, uh, number type for that one. Here is a glide potential which just gives you a bit of control so you can just bring in the, um, sorry, not glide. This is a vibrato. So it sort of felt a bit more natural to have it pointing upwards to try and do the vibrato. And yeah, as I, as I say, here's this basically this is all the controls here. We have pulse width modulation, which is mirrored on this one, VCF1 or VCF2. Pulse width modulation, wet and dry. So this is the manual, should I say, this is manual pulse width. Um, adjust so you can adjust the pulse width sort of, you know, between zero to whatever, you know, minus zero percent. Could go straight through 50 percent, which is a square. And we have our on-off switches along the side here, a couple of on-off switches. Again, everything can be turned on off. As, as I said, it mirrors pretty much what's on the front panel. And if we look down over here, this is the last board over here. This is our um, chorus, analog chorus, which is based on the zombie chorus. I think that's why somebody, somebody Hollis. Can't remember the, the first name, but I know it's not the guy from Talk Talk. Anyway, um, yeah, so again, as I can see, there's just basically, here's the front end controls here. This is the uh, tunings for VCF, VCO1 and 2, which are coarse and fine. Only VCO1 and 2 have coarse, coarse and fine tuning. VCO3 only has the coarse tuning. And basically, I've run out of kind of space on the front panel design. I didn't want to sort of tinker with it too much, and yeah. And we just have, as we can see, we have our FM feedback. All the all three um, oscillators are interconnected for, for FM frequency to frequency modulate each other to an extent, which I've explained in another video. So you can have a dive in the channel if you can find that. And yeah, we've got the vibe, sort of vibrato rate here. As I said, it's pretty much mirrored. Down here is our a 
couple of um, voltage regulators. These supply the VCOs, so the VCOs are kind of, the, the power is kind of separated. They go into the voltage regulators first, which regulates them down to plus and minus 12 volts. Um, yeah, which I'm going to try and integrate into the power supply board once I sort of uh, get my head around CRICAD. I'm still trying to figure out at the moment, trying to decide in my head how I'm going to do the, um, the power supply boards. Uh, so I should I say actually bank all the PCBs because I don't want to make one giant PCB and, and it sort of, sort of um, things go a little bit wrong so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to bank these all together so maybe have the VCOs and all the sort of glide and vibrato sort of stuff on one, on one board and maybe have all the LFOs on one separate board or have the LFOs banked with the envelopes, a filter two filters and VCA on another board. If you want any advice out there, you can advise me the best way to do this and how to sort of, uh, best way to supply power. Please jump on the comments and let me know. So, yeah, as I said, if we just have a quick look around again. We can see this is the, uh, this is the front panel. Everything you see here is pretty much mirrored on that board, on the, on the breadboard. So, there you go first little video of the year hopefully I can start trying to uh, pull my finger out and start trying to get this thing done seriously we'll see how it goes anyway people thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video if you must do so take it nice and easy and I'll catch you all soon yeah easy does it